What's up, everybody? And today we are reacting to how army snipers create camouflage ghillie suits for combat boot camp. This is by, by Business Insider. We've reacted to some Business Insider stuff before um, a while ago. I haven't actually reacted to anything military in a long, long time. But this one caught my eye. I thought it looked pretty cool. I have had a little bit of training in... Um, ghillie suits and like camouflage in the royal marines uh, we did this really cool kind of exercise where like, it was it was more of a test from what we've learned where we had to make our own suit and basically crawl from point a to point b while we had watchers um some of them watchers i'm pretty sure were royal marine snipers as well which if you know anything about the military the royal marine snipers are some of the best in the world um i was not trained as a sniper but i do have this training in ghillie suit um mechanics and how it's supposed to work um and it was really cool we basically had to crawl from point a to point b and there was about four watchers on top of the hill and they basically just said all right three two Two, one go and if they caught you they would point to you or they'd have, they'd have like a guy come and stand and be like left a bit left a bit right a bit and then they'd make you stand up and you'd be out and you had to get past a certain distance to be able to carry on in training and uh obviously i passed it because i got my green beret but <laughs> it's really cool to see so i'm hoping that i see some of that in here and i'm hoping to see something that i i can relate to in a way from royal marines training so let's pop this up and let's have a quick cheeky peek at what this is all about oh wait before we get started my merch is available down below Go and check out the merch. If you check it out and you buy something, you get a private video sent by me, and it's really cool. So check that out, my dudes. All right, let's go. These U.S. Army Sniper Corps students are participating in what's known as a ghillie wash. Okay. An event designed to test the durability of a soldier's ghillie suit. That makes sense. Snipers rely on their ghillie suits in combat to disguise themselves from enemies. So let me just quickly say about the, the ghillie suit um, durability. That makes sense because if you think about how you make a ghillie suit, we, the way we did it was basically we would have um, the mesh, like the, the overall mesh, but then we would cut up sandbags. Um, we'd tie some of that to it and other different bits of fabric. And if it wasn't tied well enough to the main kind of structure of the suit, it would fall apart. Other people did some other crazy stuff, you know, like dyeing it and burying it and a bunch of other weird stuff, but like rubbing it in mud and stuff. And I get that, but the durability is really important because if you're starting to crawl and it starts falling apart, which I've seen before, because if people don't tie properly, some people even sew it just for like, you know, extra durability, they'll just fall apart. They'll just fall apart. The purpose of the ghillie suit is to achieve a blending. We use natural vegetation as well we yep. put that into our suit and it helps us to blend in with whatever environment we could potentially be working in yeah these future snipers will take the ghillie suits made and tested in training into actual combat okay so the ghillie suit has to basically have a, a, a main base and then a bunch of fabric on it right but what we learned in training is that depending on what environment you're in so if they're in this one here which is very grassy you take that grass and you put it in the suit if you're in a place that's more swampy and it's got a lot of reeds you can take some of them lower reeds and put them in the suit you have to really adapt to your um, surroundings i'm pausing this a lot i do apologize but um it's really important that they do that we give them steps and places of the body where we want to cover it helps us look like nothing they yeah. could even know that they're looking for us. They know someone is there, but they cannot find us. Yeah. It's all about just getting rid of them contours. Ghillie suits can cost anywhere from $200 to $400. Mm -hmm. It all starts with the base layer. Yeah. For many, it's one of their old uniforms or a used one they can buy for roughly $100. Yeah, I just cut a bunch of pieces out of it sewed a bunch of mesh into it for venting and then sewed netting onto the outside of it. Yep. Netting is used to break up the sniper's silhouette and to attach natural and artificial camouflage to the suit. The most common artificial camouflage is jute, a fibrous plant-based material. Hmm. You just strip it into pieces and that is the... Yeah, so this stuff here looks very much like what we would use. We get a lot of, like, yarn and stuff like that. I don't know what this jute is. We never... I don't think I ever used that stuff. Um, but we just basically what, got what we could. That We were in training, so it wasn't specifically sniper training. It was just the basic Royal Marines training, which in itself has a lot of um, camouflage kind of aspects to it. But it wasn't as extensive as that, I don't think. Hair-looking stuff all over a ghillie suit. But just be mindful of this color. 
right? Unless you, if you're not in shade, that's not going to do you any good, right? That's going to make you stick out. Instructors inspect students' ghillie suits several times during the sniper course. We do a 360 inspection ensuring that there are points that generally get blown out, such as the crotch of the pants, armpits, elbows, stuff like that. Those high wear and tear areas yep. are reinforced, they're, they're sewn down, they're glued. I know you got it extended here. You might want to try to extend this some here to break up this straight line. Every student's ghillie suit. Yeah, so they're just trying to break up all the unnatural kind of... Um, so, like, one of the most basic kind of lessons in Royal Marines when you first start training is why things are seen, right? It's straight lines and, and straight edges that are not naturally in nature, right? You don't really get many straight lines in nature, especially don't you do with, like, uh, vegetation. So, breaking up all them lines is really important and adding camouflage to that or adding natural kind of looking vegetation from around your specific area they haven't said that right now but depending on where you are is very important you can't go around looking like a a you know a a, a corn bush in a swamp do you know what i mean like it's not it's not gonna work it isn't gonna be the same we give them left and right parameters and they fit you know wherever they fall in the durability of the suits is tested during an event known as the ghillie wash which happens in week two of the sniper course. So I think this actually, I think this actually has two things behind it. It's testing the durability, but it's also adding to the ghillie suit. Like this is going to stain the ghillie suit. It's going to make it a little bit more um, ugly looking, which is important, right? It's very important. I think that's actually another benefit of doing this. Obviously, you can wash it a little bit, but you don't want to wash it too much. Is to season and condition their uh, ghillie suit. Yeah, there you go. Only to help it soak up color and to have it kind of more natural and earthy. It yep. also allows us to find any weak points they could potentially have in their ghillie suits. Perfect. He literally just said it then. He literally just, just said it. To see how it, if it, anything will tear, like the netting and stuff on the back. Yeah. The ghillie wash starts with students crawling and rolling across various terrains. Go to your left. Go to your left. <laughs> including gravel, pavement, and sand. Yeah. What is the primary role of cycle? We soak them down, get them wet. Yeah. It's going to start creating a lot of weight. It's going to make it a little bit harder for them as well. Oh, 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 Exercises such as lunges, squats, and push-ups test the suit's ability to stretch under pressure. Some of them suits already look like they've completely torn down, don't they? <laughs> Just kind of testing out their ghillie suit in sense of how able was it to take the beating. After roughing up their suits, students crawl on their stomachs and backs yep. in wet and muddy trenches to add color to them. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? Like... <laughs> You gotta. That's to that's exactly why I said some people in the Royal Marines would do stuff like bury them outside and you know like do all sorts of weird stuff to make them look more earth-like. We're trying to find a weak point at that point, but we're trying to get that color deeply rooted in the fabric. There is really really deep clay mud that's pretty prominent here. So yeah, it's a, it's a good source for uh, when you're trying to get that earthy tone here. Makes the sense. Clay around here in Georgia tastes pretty good, so. <laughs> <laughs> the last section of the ghillie wash takes place in a 200 foot long trench yep. filled with water reaching up to chest high. Gotta go for a little swim, aren't you? Morning bath, you guys. Low crawling over any kind of like obstacles and stuff like that. See if the area that they drag themselves on will possibly peel up. And again, any kind of stitching is going to rip. I can literally just picture my training team be just shouting at us doing this. Like it's, it's weird how you, when you watch stuff like this, even though it's a completely different country, even though I do live in the US, it's a completely different country's uh, military. I can just picture myself doing it. I can picture my training team shouting random stuff like, civvies will pay thousands to do this, guys. Come on. <laughs> Get in the organ. <laughs> I know Jendit probably watched this and laugh at that. <laughs> climbing out of <clears throat> Jendit Commander, I love you, my dude. Get hosed off to remove any excess mud before hanging their suits out to dry. Mm-hmm. It is a very physical event, but it's completely necessary. Like we have to test out these ghillie suits to make sure they're going to withstand the test of time. Yeah. Yep. 
Now to the test if they actually work. The test of the ghillie suits comes during stock events. Students All right, let's pause that there. If you didn't know there was a a, a guy in a ghillie suit there, you wouldn't you, you wouldn't be like if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. Um, the only thing I have issue there is it looks like some of the vegetation that's on him looks like it's been squashed down, like someone stood on it. And we, I remember specifically, I got deducted points because of that. Um, I would have vegetation that was kind of going the wrong way, um, and they were basically saying like, look, if you have it going the wrong way and you're going forward and not everything else is sticking up, then it's just gonna you know be very obvious that that part of the the bush is moving or whatever you know must navigate through wooded terrain without being spotted by the instructors walking around them so this is exactly what we did pretty much this is exactly what we did we had someone with some binos on top of a hill keeping an eye out basically pointing out where we are and and, and trying to catch us and the idea is is to just be slow be calm um be in an area where you really do fit in plan your path really well if you can um, and overall, just be calm. Just be calm and make sure that trust trust in your uh, ghillie suit. That's what you got to do, really. Trust in the camouflage that you've or made. By those observing from afar with binoculars. Yep. <clears throat> Before the event begins, the class covers themselves in natural vegetation yep. that matches their surroundings. On their ghillie suits, they have a number of tie downs on their the hat, the top, and the pants. They'll tie natural vegetation that matches the environment they're currently in, uh, just to give them an initial base layer of camouflage as they move through the lane. Yep. Students are taught to use a 30 to 70 ratio of artificial to natural camouflage. Okay. And must carefully pick which kinds of foliage to use. Yep, very important. Here in Georgia, it's so hot and humid everything dies kind of quickly. The only thing that's going to really live on you a long time is the uh, pine leaves and stuff. And the yep. smaller, the shorter the plant is, the longer it'll live. There you go. Once the class enters the woods, they must keep a low profile, moving slowly and deliberately to avoid drawing the eye of an instructor. So one thing I would say is there's a lot of really high vegetation here. On, on the one we did on the test, I shit you not, right? It was basically just a hill looking down and it was just grassy knolls the whole way down. And the, I would say that there was no vegetation above hip height and we had to crawl through it with the vegetation on us and try not to be seen. It was incredibly difficult. Um, looks like here there's a lot more foliage around to kind of maneuver and, and, and stay still and be close to it and, and not have to be literally belt buckle to ground, which we were the whole time. As the foliage around them changes, mm -hmm. the students swap out the natural vegetation on their ghillie suits yep. to match their environment. But even the smallest of imperfections in a student's camouflage yep. will get them spotted. He is prone, and then spotter, spotting scope. Not a bad position at all, right? Uh, if you would have vegged more on that spotting scope, you guys probably would have been all right. I had like a screen over the top of my tripod and uh, it was mm. like an off color for the full look at that around. I think mean, like a cell phone out there and not learn something so it's it's definitely fun you don't put it on it just disappears not like the movies or a video game but you uh you put it on and it helps us to achieve a see that's good with our environment that's really good that one's a really good because look at all the in front of this kind of main twig i can't point to it there's like a twig up here and it carries on all the way across the screen right in front of this here, this all looks like it's been stepped on right here. Um, and it goes to say that this has just been trampled down and it looks like he's been stepped on because his foliage doesn't go straight up. So it works perfectly right there. I'm no expert, guys. I was in the Royal Marines Commandos, but I wasn't a sniper. I wasn't a sniper. So I'm no expert in this, but I certainly have a little bit of knowledge, you know. A well-constructed and properly maintained ghillie suit can last a sniper's entire career. Yeah. I've done multiple washes in my ghillie suit, and I've had it the entirety of me being a sniper. The only time I have to do anything to it is just replace jute, because it's natural, and it's going to wear away eventually. But all the stitching, everything like that is continuously held up over the years. That's the beauty of the ghillie suit, is that it can be manipulated in so many different ways to kind of tailor it to whatever environment you're in. Yeah. It's a cool video. That was a really cool video. I actually really enjoyed that. Maybe I'll do some more of that. Yeah, like I said, like the training I had, I would I would say it was pretty similar to that. It wasn't anything different. Um, 
Obviously, I didn't do sniper training, but I was in the Royal Marines Commandos, and we have some extensive training in camouflage and in, you know, in the field. So it's really important that we knew all this stuff. That being said, I do know a couple of lads who do who did go to um, RM snipers, and they were unbelievably cool. Like, unbelievably cool. They, they were really good at the job. Let's be honest. They were really good at the job. What a fantastic video. If you want me to react to more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. I certainly will. It's been a long time since we reacted to some military stuff. So maybe I'll get, I'll get a few videos up there for the new year. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But for now, members, you're awesome. Oh, I'll leave a link down below, down below to the original video. Go give it a like and all that good stuff. Um, members, you're awesome. I love you. It's been fantastic getting to chat to you in the private Discord all about trees and stuff. That's an insane joke um if you want to know anything about the private discord and stuff like that check out the members button down below the join button um the officers and the guardsmen get put into a private discord we get to play games together and some other stuff it's a ton of fun um so if you want to check that out join button down below also link down below to my merch check it out if you buy some you get a private video sent to you by me it's selling out quick there isn't much of it so definitely go check it out other than that links down below some of socials and my two other youtube channels Avenger human geek and original adventures i love you all have a wonderful day Goodbye.